Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at navigating and logic a bit more in depth. We're going to be diving more into division values and what all that means and how you can use them to navigate in logic in much more granular fashion. So if you've been using logic for any amount of time, you are probably aware by now that you can use period and comma to navigate for your project by bars, also known as measures. So if you want to move forward by a bar, that would be period. Two bars, one beat, three bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And if you want to move backwards by a bar, that will be comma. Two bars, one beat, one division, one tick. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. If you have the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands installed, you can navigate by division values, and that is command control period and comma. So command control period will move you forward. One bar one beat two divisions one tick. One bar one beat three divisions one tick. One bar one beat four divisions one tick. One bar two beats one division one tick. And command control comma will move you backwards by division value. One bar one beat four divisions. One bar one beat three division. One bar one beat two divi One bar one beat one division one tick. Now. By default, the division value is set to a 16th note. However, logic gives us the option to assign a key command to move by 16th notes. And in the logic keyboard ninja key commands, it's mapped to command option control period and comma. So command option control period will move you forward. One bar one B two divisions, one bar one B three divisions, one tick. And you see it's moving by the same amount that we're moving by with the division values previously. And if I do command option control comma, I'll move backwards. One bar one B two divisions, one, one bar one B one division, one tick. So since we have this key command for moving by 16th notes, we really don't need the division value to also be set to 16th notes. And so I recommend setting it to a quarter note since that one does not have a hardwired command that you can assign a hotkey to. So you can force your division value to be a quarter note by hitting control command slash the slash key is right next to the period. So control command slash. Now when I'm moved by division values, it will move by a quarter note or a beat. And so if I do command control period. One bar two beats one tick. One bar three beats one tick. One bar four beats one tick. You see this moving me just on the beats. One bar three beats one tick. One bar two beats one tick. One bar one beat one tick. And there you go. Command control comma moves me backwards by the same amount. There is also a hardwired key command to move by eighth note. And that is assigned to command control shift period and comma. So if I do command control shift period, I'll move forward by an eighth note. One bar one beat 481 tick. One bar two beats one tick. And if I do command control shift comma, I will move back by an eighth note as well. One bar one beat 481 ticks. One bar one beat one tick. So you can move with period and comma, that's a bar. You can move by a beat with command control period and comma. You can move by an eighth note with command control shift period and comma. And you can move in 16th notes with command option control period and comma. Now let's say there are these rare moments where you need to move in even smaller increments than a 16th note. And I have a key command set to force your division values to be a 32nd note. So let's say you're trying to do some really granular editing and you want to move in really small increments smaller than a 16th note then you can force the division value to be a 32nd note. And you do that with option control slash. So if I hit option control slash. Now, when I use command control period and comma to move by division value, that is going to be moving in a 32nd note. So one bar one beat two divisions one tick. One bar one beat three divisions one tick. One bar one beat four divisions one tick. One bar one beat five divisions one tick. One bar one beat six divisions one tick. One bar one beat seven divisions one tick. One bar one beat eight divisions one tick. And there you go, and I can move backwards doing command control comma. One bar one beat seven division one bar one beat six divisions one bar one beat five divisions one bar one beat four divisions one one bar one beat three one bar one beat two one bar one beat one division one tick. So if you want to break it down, it basically goes in quantities of four. So one bar has four beats. Each beat has four sixteenth notes. If you want to go on the in-betweens, each beat has two eighth notes, four sixteenth notes, and eight thirty-second notes. And because there are four bars in a measure, that adds up to four beats to a bar, eight eight notes to a bar, sixteen sixteenth notes to a bar, and thirty-two thirty-second notes to a bar. Now, if you want to get a bit more in depth than that, the division values can pretty much be set to anything from a quarter note to 
8th note to 16th note, 32nd note, or 64th note, or 128th note, and beyond. And it actually can be set to a few odd things in between, like say a 6th note, a 12th note, a 24th note, and a 48th note. And those in between are the triplets. For example, the 12th note is a 8th note triplet. There is a key command to cycle between all these different division values from a quarter note all the way up to the maximum value. Control slash moves you forward to the next division value and control shift slash moves you backward to the previous division value. Now, as you remember right now, we have this set to a 32nd note. So if you wanna say go from a 32nd note to a 48th note, you can press control slash to go up to the next division value. And that way now the division value is set to 48th note. One bar one B two divisions one bar one B three divisions one tick one bar one B four divisions one one bar one B five one bar one B six division one bar one B seven one bar one B eight division one bar one B nine division one bar one B ten division one bar one B eleven one bar one B twelve division one bar two beats one division one tick. And I can go back with command control comma one bar one B one bar one B one bar one B ten divisions one tick. As you see there. And now let's say all right I did what I need to do and I want to go back down to a thirty second note I can do control shift slash and now I'm back to a thirty second note. And one bar one beat eight divisions one one bar two beats one division one tick. You see it goes from eight to one, so I'm back to a thirty second note. One now. bar one beat eight divi But as you notice, that doesn't speak and that can be kind of confusing to know what you are set to sometimes. So if you really want to get to some of those other values, you can change this in the control group inside of the control bar. And you can get there if we stop interacting with the tracks group altogether. Out of track, out of track, out of track. Alright, and now if I navigate with your left arrow. Inspector, group, Z project, to control bar, toolbar. Do we have the control bar? I'm going to interact with this and find the control group. In control bar, toolbar, inspector, check, quick help, unch, toolbar, uncheck, smart controls, unch, mixer, uncheck, check, editors, unchack, rewind, button, forward, button, go to beginning, button, play, uncheck, record, uncheck, cycle, uncheck, control bar, group. There we go, control bar, group. In control bar, group. Six items, one bar, one B, play head position, scrubber group. And by default, the division value is not visible. So I'm gonna have to set the display in here to be custom. So if I press BON to jump to the end of this window. Beats and project, display mode, pop-up button. It takes me right to the display mode pop-up button, which is set to beats and project right now. I'm gonna VO space on this and change it to custom. Menu 13 items check mark, beats and project. So I'm gonna press VON to jump to the end of this list. Save as defaults, apply defaults. And I'm moving up now. Customize control bar and use SMPT view off open giant time display, open giant beats, custom. And there is custom. So I'm going to select that. Press custom, custom, display mode, pop-up button. And now if I press VO left arrow. Slash 32, pop-up button. There it says slash 32. That means run a 30 second note. So if you know you want to switch this to something else, you can VO space on this. Menu 12 items check mark, slash 32. And you can change it. Slash 24 to a slash 24 if you go up slash 16 slash 16 which we already have something mapped to slash 12 slash 12 and then if we go in the opposite direction go down slash 16 slash 24 check mark slash 32 slash 48 slash 64 you can change it to any of these manually and that's probably the best way to do it so i'm gonna hit escape closing menu and i'm gonna set that back to a quarter note so i'm gonna press control command slash custom display mode pop-up button and now if I go one to the left again, slash four, pop up button, you see it says slash four. All right. So in review, you can move through your project by bars or measures with period and comma. You can move through the project by division value with command control period and comma. And once again, I recommend setting the division value to a quarter note with command control slash. So that way you can use control command period and comma to move through the project by a quarter note at a time. You can also move through the project by an eighth note with command control ship period and comma. And you can move through the project by a 16th note with command option control period and comma. As stated earlier, you can force the division value to be a quarter note with command control slash. You can force it to be a 32nd note with control option slash. And you can force it to be a 64th note with control option shift slash if you want to step through the settings for the division value you can do that with control slash to move to the next division value or you can do control shift slash to move to the previous division value so if you're on a 32nd note and you want to go up to a 48th note or a 64th note you can press control slash once or twice respectively if you want to go down to a 24th note or a 16th note you can press control shift slash respectively
You can also fast forward and rewind through the project eight measures at a time with shift period and comma. Hope you found that useful, helpful, and you can now navigate through your project in large, small, or any increment in between. If you'd rather read about this, there is a blog post about this as well, linked in the description below, and at the end of the article is a list of all the key commands that will make your navigating life easier and logic. Thanks again for checking out this tutorial, and as always, until next time, happy recording.